you might notice something a little bit different today. And no, it's not just my five year sober glow, although I definitely have that today. I also treated myself to a fresh new hairdo and breakfast on the patio at my favorite restaurant here in town. So it has been a good day so far and I'm going to ride this wave by recording some videos and sharing some sober inspiration with you. These are old Instagram posts that I posted in early sobriety and I share a single word to use as an intention for the day. If you've been following along, we are almost a hundred words in. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel and that way you won't miss the second half of our journey. You can always go back to my channel and start at day one and work your way up from here. So whenever you wanna pop in, I am grateful. I love revisiting these kind of like reading an old diary and thinking about, you know, oh, how does that affect my life today? So today's word is victory. How appropriate is that? I didn't even think about that when I started filming and the fact that it's five years, I'm five years sober today. So victory indeed. <laughs> I said about six weeks ago, I offered to take on more work responsibility for more pay. A coworker was leaving and I knew my company was interested in restructuring. So taking on some of those accounts meant that they didn't have to worry about one portion of the business. I was so proud of myself for being willing to ask and told my friend, I dared greatly, a la Brene Brown. It took several weeks for them to officially offer it to me and it came with a much smaller raise than I had anticipated. I spent the next 24 hours building my case for why I was worth more. And for the first time ever in my career, I fought for my value. Then I waited. More than two weeks had gone by and I still hadn't heard anything. I had started to second guess everything about the situation. I thought it was divine will that guided me to ask, but then I, I began to wonder if I was being selfish and greedy. I feared that my boss would rescind the offer. Thoughts swirled like a pinball machine and I continued to pray for patience. Yesterday, I finally received the answer. While they didn't increase the offer much, they did slightly and I agreed to officially take on the role. The gratitude my boss expressed for my contribution to the company was overwhelming. We used to joke at my previous company that we had thankless jobs. So hearing kind words spoken and knowing that they believe in my value was beyond measure. I feel like a champion in so many ways. I believed my higher power was compelling me to stretch beyond my comfort zone and I did. I fought for my worth because I actually believed I had worth. I compromised when I didn't get what I requested, but I didn't feel slighted because I never sold myself short. The gifts of my recovery and the person I am today continue to reward me. How have you fought for yourself recently and did you come out on top? Appreciate the big and small wins. Fill the day with victory. And I love this because I just went through something similar at work at my new company where I found out they were posting for a director role. And even though I was new to the company, I threw my name in the hat. I negotiated what I was worth in that role too. And I'm so excited to have embarked on that new journey in my career. A couple of months ago, I'm loving work every day. It's creating this new challenge for me to be a leader, just like I am outside of work when I lead retreats. So it's been wonderful to share my gifts in that way. And so I see it as that being a leader, not, you know, clamoring up the corporate ladder like I used to. I feel like I'm supporting my team and challenging myself in new ways. And that has been my victory lately. So I love to hear about what victories are happening in your life. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.